us observe it. Thousands and thousands of lives. For those of us who are seaborn people, our ancestors who arrived in New Zealand arrived there because of the work of this man. 31 years of development. There are still some of his wooden clocks actually working in England right now. When you see the work of this man, you think of the innovations that he developed, as Emily said, the biometallic strips, compensating different temperatures, uh, uh, expansion, contraction rates, are entirely the work of this man. Remember, he was trade. He was a joiner, a carpenter. His big battle was the fact that the establishment couldn't really accept that he had something to offer. If you've read Jonathan Beck's Jonathan Livingston Seagull, you'll notice the difference between H1, H2, H3, and H4 is what we would know as a fob watch. He had a leap of faith and remember it took 22 years of development to develop and build H2 and H3. You look at the craftsmanship and think that if you do nothing else here in England to think of the people who have restored these things, you are looking at things and that man who has saved thousands and thousands of lives. As Emily said, it took a long time for the mathematics to catch up with the precision that he, he developed. So we should pay respect as New Zealanders to this man, to his technical expertise, a carpenter building something out of metal like that. So.